Hello again, everyone. This is Jackie from Glamorous Classics. I'm here with the part two of the yard sale finds from the um, National Pike Festival, which, which was just this past weekend, starting May 19th. And um, there's so much. It's it's um, it's kind of overwhelming, but I just wanted to share the, the rest, or at least most of the rest with you. There's, believe it or not, still more than this. Um, Anyway, I found a lot of bracelets this weekend. This is uh, the one in front is an Aurora Borealis um, that's signed Claudette, which is kind of a rare mark from the 1950s. And over here, we've got um, a gold tone mesh and mesh was very popular in the 50s as well. This one's kind of unusual. It's got these um, topaz or brown stones uh, just kind of applied to the mesh. It's really a cool looking thing. Um, this next one has um, green lucite shapes embedded into it, a really ornate, uh, kind of almost a Baroque style arrangement there. And this one is multi rhinestones, some uh, givre glass stones, givre, I think that's how you pronounce it, arranged in a line, kind of neat. Um, this one over here is, I believe, a coro. And it's uh, either a Cora or a Lesnar, I, I, sorry. But anyway, it's set with the blue Aurora Borealis rhinestones in the middle, and it's got these silver tone feathers on either side. Um, the um, two-tone hearts are Nina Ritchie. That's a little bit newer. This blue one is an old bracelet. These beautiful blue stones are surrounded in filigree there. And this one's my favorite, I think. Orange. Lucite or maybe Bakelite, I haven't tested it. Arranged in this kind of a gate style. It's really attractive. Okay, over here, um, this is Kenneth J. Lane, KJL. And it's um, enamel with moon and stars, matching earrings. Really cool rhinestone brooch. I don't know if you can get a better look at it here with matching earrings, multi-rhinestone. It's a flower and it's got a larger stone in the center. And just a little flower brooch, I kind of like those. Beautiful rose earrings with Aurora Borealis rhinestones. Isn't this the coolest seahorse? It's uh, blue and green glass with rhinestones. It's Kenneth J. Lane as well. This is a micro mosaic brooch. These are um, Usually made in Italy. This one's marked Italy. And it's got an arrangement of these tiny uh, pieces of glass. It's, um, it's an ancient artwork that's uh, been practiced in Italy for some time. And they just make these beautiful designs out of it. Down here is a uh, Christmas tree pin. It's signed uh, Brook, Brooks. And over here, this large Maltese cross is um, Butler and Wilson, a very heavy piece. Okay, over here is this gorgeous, dainty, but so nice, um, filigree Art Deco period, 1930s, uh, with a glass stone in the front. I just love this pendant for some reason. It's uh, just unusual, it's got these uh, and have frosted baguettes, or no, I'm sorry, these aren't baguettes, those are navettes with these black rhinestones in the center. And down here are some necklaces. This one is Austria, the blue and sapphire blue and clear. It's really gorgeous. This uh, green necklace is Lisner. Then we've got a red Aurora Borealis. Necklace and earring set. Finally, over here is a um, you know dark and light blue rhinestone, gorgeous. And perhaps the piece de resistance is this um, pink rhinestone gold tone choker, which is signed. I don't know if you can see the signature if I turn it over. It is Christian Dior, which is amazing. Beautifully made. Okay, well, that is that for this part, and uh, look for some upcoming videos with more jewelry. Otherwise, look me up on Etsy. That's Glamorous Classics.
Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.